If you're struggling with doing keyword research for SEO and optimizing your site to get more organic traffic, this video is for you. I'm going to walk you through exactly what you need to do to get started. So let's dive right in. The best way to improve your keyword research process is to follow a set of steps for each of your pages, posts, and other pieces of content. But before jumping into the actual keyword research part, it's a good idea to take a moment to ask a few questions about your audience. For an example, what does your target audience look like? What type of content are your readers looking for? How can you narrow the focus of your content and niche down even further? And what solutions are you offering your readers or customers? Understanding the answers to those questions will give you a great starting point. Now let's take a look at the process for how to do keyword research. Before you start writing or optimizing, you need to know who your audience is and what kinds of things they're looking for. Now, to learn about your current audience and track organic keyword conversions, you'll need to use Google Analytics. Now, if you're using WordPress, Monster Insights makes it super easy to see the data that matters most right on your WordPress dashboard. So to get started, if you don't have GDPR compliance turned off, well, you can use your demographics and interest reports to see what your audience might be most interested in reading. If you'd like to learn more about the demographics and interest reports, well, be sure to check out the link in the description to our tutorial on how to turn those reports on. These reports give you a look at the kind of people who are already coming to your site, so you can continue to target the same kind of people with your keywords. And there are a few other ways that you can learn about your readers as well. Checking out social forums on sites like LinkedIn, Quora, and Reddit to see what questions people are asking in your niche. You can do some research and find out what your competitors are doing. And you can connect Google Search Console to your site to see what keywords you're using that are already getting clicks. After you've identified the kind of audience you're targeting, it's time to create a list of potential keywords. Now, you need to think about each of your website's products, services, and other assets, and then come up with a few terms that you think people might be searching for around those. Now, for this step, you'll want to look for keywords that'll target sites' visitors at various stages of the sales funnel. Now, after all, some people are just becoming aware that your site exists, while other people are ready to make a purchase. Now, you'll want to include a variety of terms in the list, such as general terms that you think people might be searching for, and then specific terms that highlight what you're selling. Remember that generic keywords typically have the highest search volume, and they drive the most traffic. But using more specific keywords will bring people to your site who are ready for exactly what you have to offer. So, for example, let's say your company sells pet supplies. Well, you might want to rank at the top of search results for the term pet supplies, but you might also want to rank for something specific like blue pet collar, since visitors searching for that exact term are most likely ready to buy that item. Now, one great way to find keywords to target is by looking at what keywords your competitors are using and they're ranking for. Now, to do that, you'll need to use a tool like SimRush or WordStream. All you have to do is plug in the domain of your competitor to get that overview and see what they're ranking for. Okay, once you have a list of keywords that you want to target, it's time to see if people are actually searching for those terms. After all, if no one's looking for the terms that you've thought of and you target them with your content anyway, well, most likely you're not going to get the traffic that you're hoping for. So it's time to use the keyword research tools that we mentioned just a moment ago and see which are the best ones to create content around. Now, our favorite is SimRush. You can use it for free. Just remember that you won't get all the features and benefits of using the paid version. On the other hand, you can use WordStream. It's always free. You just have to enter your email address to get the keywords. So let's take a look at an example. Let's say that you want to rank for how to drive a manual transmission. We plug that term into SimRush. It not only gives us data about the keyword, but also suggests related terms and questions along with the volumes. It looks like we should target how to drive a 13-speed manual transmission and include different sections for how to drive a manual transmission car or how to drive a 10-speed manual transmission or just write separate articles for each of those. 
Now that you have an idea of the related terms from SEMrush or WordStream, you'll need to do an actual search in Google for the targeted term that you've chosen and see what it looks like on the search results page. A great place to start is with Google's autocomplete feature. All you need to do is enter the keywords that you've chosen into the search bar and see what pops up. The autocomplete feature helps you see what variations of the keyword that people are using. You'll want to pay attention to the types of articles that show up on the first page of the search result. Now, this is a content that's receiving the most traction, so your goal is to compete with those articles. Now look at the People Also Ask box, plus the related search area at the bottom of the page to see related terms that people are using when they search for that keyword. Now during this step, you'll need to ask yourself about the search intent. Now what do I mean by that? You'll need to look at the search results page and ask yourself, what is the searcher really looking for here? If the top articles are mostly beginner's guides or listicles, for an example, your searcher probably expects to find that type of result, so you'll need to create content that meets the searcher's intent. All right, there you have it. In just a few steps, now you know how to go about doing keyword research for SEO and optimizing your site to get more organic traffic. With Monster Insights, you get the website stats that matter. See why over 3 million websites use us. If you're not already using Monster Insights, there's a discount link in the description. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials, explainers, and helpful content like this. We'll see you next time.